as we are different personalities, every actor would have a different method. And nothing is wrong, nothing is wrong. Hi, this is Priya Bapat and you are watching me on peepingmoon.com. Hi, this is Atul Kulkarni and you are watching me on peepingmoon.com. Hi, I'm Ajaz Khan and you are watching me on peepingmoon.com. Peepingmoon.com. I'm Rashita Sahani and today joining me for a super interesting conversation is the wonderful star cast of City of Dreams Season 3. Hi you guys, how have you been? Hi, Hi good. we're how doing are you? great. I'm good too. I watched the trailer shortly before this interview yeah. and I must say that everyone's expectations has just risen because firstly I was hearing you say this that not many shows get season after seasons, you yeah. know. And that's a very, very big thing in today's time. If you manage to get the audiences hooked for not one episode, but for like three seasons, incredible. But, you know, how is it for you guys? Has the excitement, but the nervousness also gone up a little? Uh, who's going to start first? <laughs> <laughs> you start, it's fine. I think the excitement, of course, yes. Yeah. Because uh, as I said that, it's, we've been working on this script and on this project for five years almost. We started in 2018. But uh, every season is just getting better and better and better. So there are more challenges. Mm. There are more layers mm. to your character that gets added. And the story gets more exciting. So you're looking forward to perform and be that character once again. And you also look forward to go on the set and meet all these lovely, wonderful yeah. actors and people who are not only... Uh, your co-actors, but they're also your friends now. Mm -hmm. So I think for me, City of Dreams set is my second home, as I always say. Mm -hmm. Are you suggesting we are looking at India's longest running web show? Wow. Oh, I would <laughs> love you? that. I like that. I like that. Yeah. We, we can just hope. Because actually, yeah. yeah, Atul and I were just talking and we said that we have asked Nagesa mm -hmm. to sign us for at least uh, 10 seasons. They should. <laughs> just tell we won't do season 4 if you all don't yeah. sign us. <laughs> no, but as I mentioned, people have sort of gotten attached to these characters as well, not only City of Dreams. Atul, what do you have to say about that? Uh, it's a huge task for writers basically. Yeah. Because to create that world hmm. and uh, to create those characters and making people look forward to these characters and we come after what, one and a half years or so and because of COVID, the second season came after a long yeah. gap. And still people, uh, you know, uh, got hooked onto it. So I give full credit to Nagesh and Rohit for writing yeah. such a stuff, writing such characters, uh, making them relatable. And uh, then, of course, Nagesh directing it uh, through. So uh, I think it is, it is just wonderful. It is unique. And it is very special, I would say, not only for the show mm. or for the platform or for applause or whatever, but generally uh, f f as, as a format, I'm saying, for our country. Got it. Ajaz, because even mm. uh, your fans have been hooked. They wait. I don't mean to sound overconfident, mm. but uh, before every season, I've always waited for the script. Ki ab kya hoga, ab kya hoga, because I'm equally excited. And once I read it, I'm like, ha, maza aega. Yeah, <laughs> see, see, see. So Nagesh and Rohit, they've done a brilliant job. They, they, they do their work. So more than half of it is done for us. We know our characters. We go, we re relive it. We go, uh, we know Nagesh are also uh, what grammar he uses to direct us. So that's home turf for us now. So m most of it is, it's, uh, I wouldn't say easy, hmm. but it's familiar territory. So there's no nervousness, but there's a lot of excitement. Bahut hai. And I think uh, uh, not only because of the trailer, yeah. but uh, what is coming, I can't wait for the audience to see on the oh. 26th of May. We're waiting for Because that. every yeah. episode is going to surprise mm -hmm. Every episode. I, I also feel the trailer is so well cut. Like not a lot of times do we get to see trailers that sort of make you feeling like you're wanting to watch more, you know? <laughs> and that is what this does because also because I freshly watched it so I remember like each and every uh, scene and cut. But Priya, talking about your role, uh, it's incredible that we are now seeing such strong parts being headlined by all actors, gender no bar. Uh, and when it comes from an actress, of course, it's a proud feeling and uh, everything's like in your, you know, coat. And I, I feel so proud to see actresses uh, bringing alive such strong parts beautifully on screen. Uh, to get into that character, how do you feel also headlining something like this one and being so uh, brave and bold in your role? 
Uh, so, so the question is the that being so bold and brave in your character that how do I feel about it? Yeah, and also getting into the skin of your character. So I don't think I take pressure of the character being so important mm. in the script or anything. I just like the characteristics that the character has and the graph that the character okay. has, which I get to play as an actor. Because the rest of the thing, my director is going to tell me what to do because he's the one who is uh, looking at the whole show. and he's he's incorporating every character's journey mm-hmm. in the show and it is not only one character yeah. it is also about all the other characters how they are responding to that one character also makes that one character important and work mm-hmm. both so um yeah i mean so for me i i, I lost my track what i was saying <laughs> mm-hmm. what was i saying Maybe. she enjoys yeah. basically yeah, yeah. enjoy yeah character. So I don't take the pressure of uh-huh. it, but I enjoy it because I love challenges. Okay. I mean, the bottom line was yeah, that I love challenges. I love challenging myself. I don't like to be in a comfort zone. If I know that this is what I've done, I definitely would like to try something new, even if it's the same character. So yeah, I'm not scared of that. That excites me. That makes me nervous. But I think that nervous energy also is good on set because then you try to give your best. Okay, so you work well under pressure. Sometimes yes, sometimes I don't. But it's okay. It's, <laughs> it's a part okay, of yeah. us. Of course, <laughs> definitely. Uh, Atul, about you. You know, you have been acting for a really long time, and we have gotten such great work from you. But when you do a part like this one, which is intense, which has its own emotions, <coughs> and you know, is also a very strong part. Are you? You have been acting for so long. Do you think you are a switch off, switch on actor, or do you carry the role throughout and it takes like an emotional toll on you? No, no, completely switch on, switch off uh, yeah. kind of a guy. I wonder if I am on even when I am giving the shots. <laughs> I am that kind of a uh, yeah. <laughs> you know uh, guy because I always believe that acting mm-hmm. is a technique, yeah. and um, of course you work around things. You have your director, writers, your co-stars, and all that. but uh, oh no no surely i do not mm-hmm. carry anything even outside the shot wow. leave aside the set i think that's the experience talking I still have to figure that, that out that is <laughs> the that is i think uh, the personality that, that okay. is how and that is why uh, there are as many methods of acting as many actors in this world uh, so you every one would work according to one's temperament okay. yeah and how you are you know what how you are brought up what your you know all all the background so so as we are different personalities every actor would have a different method and nothing is wrong nothing is right that that's a blessing i feel that you can switch off switch on so quickly because even as journalists i feel if we do like an emotional interview i am emotional for 1 2 hours extra so i feel how do i get out of this zone so yeah congratulations on that <laughs> uh as i was talking about you you know as i mentioned everyone loves to watch you in city of dreams and uh, i was going through some comments where people were already praising you without even watching the third season which is an incredible thing but what newness are you bringing to the new season well as i said half my job is done with the writing yeah uh there is tremendous growth in uh, wasim khan's character even from the second season um uh, you will see a more thorough wasim khan you will see um slightly more mature sl- uh, i mean if you're th- seeing wasim khan from a different perspective he's been an encounter cop he's yeah. been heartless to do those things he still has his moral barometer somewhere in between he's trying to do the right things uh but here you will see him uh, take the right stands in the right places uh i think uh, that brings out a little more humane side of him mm. which i love to explore i didn't think that uh, nagesh and worth would li- write such a part for him but uh, end of the day i felt good <laughs> i felt good about uh, yeah. being a good type of asim khan then amazing mm-hmm. but uh, i'm sure people from every city are wait- waiting to watch city of dreams 3 Thank you so much for Thank this you. interview. All the very best for the show. Thank, Thank you. you. And so many, much. many more seasons to come. <laughs> We have like a ten-season pack, so let's see. <laughs> yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you.